officially reached the point where I have too many clothes and nothing to wear. Also, it's kind of irresponsible that I have so many clothes that my wardrobe is in fact sagging under the weight of its responsibility in holding up all of these clothes. And then throw on top of that being someone who has a YouTube channel where they make more clothes, uh, this is just an unsustainable predicament that I find myself in. So today I'm going to clean out my wardrobe. <laughs> So I really need a better system of organizing all of my clothing so I actually know what I own. And recently I stumbled on a video from With Wendy where she sorts through her wardrobe and she logs everything in this app called A Closet. This video is not sponsored by anyone, but I decided to give this app a go because it looks like the functionality is gonna be really handy. laborious process to go through literally every single item of clothing that you wear but basically AI removes the background of the picture so that then you can capture exactly the item on its own in the app so then you can also like have fun playing around and putting together outfits so I like to do this because I often have ideas about outfits but I'm not really sure how it's all going to go together and then it's just such a palaver like getting everything out and like trying it on so this is a way where I can just kind of quickly find some outfit ideas and I can throw them together in the app and then I can just leave them sitting there and I might forget about them at one point but I can also go back and revisit the app and find those outfits. The other thing that's been really bothering me about my wardrobe for such a long time is the wooden coat hangers. They are just massively chunky and considering I only have full height hanging space in there, I find that with the wooden hangers, the clothes sort of all get squashed right up against each other because of the thickness of the hanger, it takes up space. So the clothes can't hang nicely and I can't actually see and then it's just a pain getting things in and out all the time. And I know that the wooden ones are kind of fancy and it's something that a lot of people like to have them in their wardrobe, but for me, it's just not working. Also, they're kind of slippery, so things like dresses with thin straps, even if you do put those extra loops over, some of, sometimes you have to cut those off for the sake of the garment and wearing it practically. But I have quite a few things that just tend to slip off the wooden hangers, so I want to change out the hangers and make sure that everything is looking neat and tidy in a way, but also so that the clothes stay on the hangers. And then I figured that I'm old enough now that I need to organize my life. I need to start acting like the adult that I supposedly am. I really want to feel a bit more grown up than I do. And part of that for me is changing out all of the coat hangers from the wooden ones to these flocked black hangers that I got from Target. And the flocking is kind of like velvety, so it's got a bit of bit more friction and it can hold the garment. The garment, I sound like a fashion designer. So it can hold the clothes on and they don't slip off. And it's not just the wardrobe that I'm organizing, I'm organizing all of my clothes. So I'm gonna take everything out of my chest of drawers. Just too many double ups. If there's one thing you're gonna take away from this video is that even if you don't like the idea of Maria Kondo's method, her method of folding things is the tits. She just absolutely hates shelves and so do I. Ever since I read the book and started organizing my life like this, I hate shelves. They're just a pain in the butt. And so instead of using shelves to organize everything, using drawers. But there's a particular way you need to put everything in the drawers so that you can actually see everything at once. She likes to fold in this method and stack everything vertically so that when you open the drawer, you can actually see everything in the drawer already and then make a decision from there. Whereas if you stack things sort of one on top of each other, when you pull the drawer out, you can only see really like the top one or two things. You can't see what's at the bottom. So then close to the bottom, like get neglected and you don't wear them as much because you can't see them. Maybe your favorite thing is down there, but you've just forgotten that it exists because you can't actually see it when you open the drawer. So there's like, I'm sure a billion videos on YouTube. So I'm not going to go through it, but 
The principle is that you make everything into a long rectangle shape first and then you fold everything into the middle, making sure that things don't get creased too much. It takes a little bit of practice, but once you've done it once, it's like a really meditative way of taking care of your clothes. And then you stack everything up, like, like books in a library, but rather than being on a shelf, they're just turn 90 degrees and they're in your drawer. And it's really nice. The other thing that I learned from Maria Kondo's method is that you don't actually need to go out and buy specifically designed drawer inserts to organize your stuff. You can just use shoe boxes or any old boxes that you have lying around your house. Uh, the chest of drawers I have now are quite shallow, so I've got some shoe boxes that I actually cut the top off of. And you just put everything in, standing up neatly. Using those boxes as dividers also helps with keeping the clothes upright. And if you don't have enough clothes to go kind of this way, then you can use the boxes to just sort of shorten. I'll show you, I'll show you some B-roll of what I mean here. All right, so I've got everything organized and I'm really excited to show you guys, but I just want to talk through how I organize all of the clothes in my wardrobe. Previously, I just had them kind of grouped by type. So I would put my jackets together, my pants together, my skirts together, and then all my tops and then all my dresses. And then the way that I organized my dresses was that I did it in a rainbow. And I really love putting things in the rainbow and having my dresses like that just made me really, really happy. And so this time around, I decided that I'm going to organize the whole wardrobe rainbow from start to finish and just kind of ignoring what the garment type is so all of the dresses and skirts and tops and stuff are intermingled because I find that when I'm getting dressed I kind of think about like how do I feel today and that feeling usually translates into a color so now I can just be like oh I'm feeling in a green mood and I just pick out some green things it's really 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 nice I also packed away a couple of things that I'm not going to need for a few months because it's still fairly warm here in Sydney. It's only February and yeah, winter, winter, our colder season, not really winter. It doesn't snow or anything here. It's like 20 degrees most of the time. Our colder months are in the middle of the year, obviously, because we're upside down. We're in the Southern Hemisphere. So I'm not going to need them for a little while. So I put them in a tub that is stored in the top of the wardrobe. And when I start getting too cold, I will pack away some of my summer clothes and I'll get out some of my winter clothes. and. And it'll feel like there's some new objects, some new items in my wardrobe because I won't have seen them for a while. Just like tricking that brain into thinking that something is new when it's actually something that I've owned for a while. Like I'm quite excited about it. And then next summer I'll do the same again. I'll switch it around and it'll be like, whoa, what is this stuff? I've never seen this before. This is amazing. Finally, I took some stuff that I don't really wear that much anymore. Some things I haven't had for very long. Some things I've had for a while and they just don't fit and they're not ever going to fit anymore or I just don't wear them that much. So I'm going to drop all of this off at Vinnie's and someone else can benefit from these clothes that I don't wear. Okay, before I go, let me show you finally the rainbow arrangement of my wardrobe that I just am totally, 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 totally stoked with. Right, come with me. Ready? Are you ready? So can you see me? Can you see me? It's mostly in rainbow, although I have a couple of jackets up the front here, which are things that I wear um, with my other outfits. My raincoat, obviously, and a couple of sort of interseasonal jackets that are not too heavy, but still nice and colorful. And then it basically just starts from black and white, starts with, and then goes into pink. I don't really have that much red stuff. I just mostly have a lot of pink stuff. Some red, some orange, yellow, it's obviously a big section, some kind of browny, camely tones, green, blue, so that includes denim, lots of denim things, blue stuff into some other like purpley, navy, wine colored things. And then my belt is, my belt thingy is like a divider between kind of the everyday clothes and then some other jackets that I kind of sometimes foods and then up the top here I have can you see it up the top there that's where I have my winter things do you like it Yay. 